Hey everybody, it's uh, Mike again, and I'm going to do a quick video demonstrating how we use Loopback as a virtual software audio device, um, especially in the case when we have a Unity server or Unity Connect, and we need to attach multiple audio sources. So we, we, it's not just going to be like a Motu 16A, but um, I might need two pieces of two different audio IO devices and some audio from uh, a web browser or something like that. And so we can use multiple sources of audio um, with, and we can bring it into loopback and make one virtual um, audio device that either unity connect or unity intercom can interface with. And I'll just do a quick video demonstrating how we do that. So what I'm going to be demonstrating here is, uh, let's just say um, I am at a remote location and I have um, more than one audio source that I need to send back to like New York City or something. And I'm out here in Oklahoma. Um, well, what I would do, I've got my MacBook Pro here and I would, uh, I would use Loopback to create um, a virtual device and have multiple sources. So... Um, I'll fire it up here on my screen. So let's let's open up Loopback first. And so here's Loopback. Here's what it looks like when you first create a virtual um, pass-through device. Um, Loopback does this little, it kind of does an automatic drawing. So here's your source. This is a pass-through device. Here are the output channels. Um, and then you click this little plus button to make more channels, grow your source, uh, and make more, make more little outputs there. Um, and so I'll jump back. I'm going to jump down to this one, which I already created. So here is a 32 channel device. So this might be Dante virtual sound card. Uh, in this case, it's audio coming from, from Reaper. Um, but I've got a whole bunch of audio here. And as you can see, um, I made it a 32 channel device and I want to add another device real quick. So what I could do is click this little plus button up here by my sources and I can add the M2. This is my Motu M2 and I can add uh, six outputs of the, of the M2 and it automatically created these little lines for me. Now I cheated in the sense that when I had originally done this, um, I left the first six inputs blank um, because if you're, if you're in the field and you already have an audio device set up and you throw in another audio device, it will actually duplicate. So for example, if I had done a one-to-one -one mapping, the Motu M2 here would also go to one two, or, or would do a one-to-one -one mapping and would start summing. So essentially what you would have to do is delete and kind of start drawing your ins and outs over. It's a little bit messy, but it gets the job done. So now we have my M2. Um, six channels of that and my uh, this little pass-through device that I created um, in fact yeah okay so w what I've done now is I actually have combined um, these two devices I'm pretending this is like Dante virtual sound card and the M2 to create one output device so I can go to unity connect and I can if you can see that, okay. Um, I can go to my outgoing tab. Let's say Unity Norman. And now I have 32 channels. And so, um, and then I could just start adding my, my, my outputs just like that. And so not only can we use um, loopback with multiple devices to output to Unity Connect, uh, but I can also go to my Unity Intercom server and I can do the same. So it may be... Um, that I'm not only wanting to bring up my server here. It may be not only that am I wanting to use Unity Connect, but I might be trying to bring in more than one device. Like again, a combination of Dante virtual sound card. Um, so a bunch of Dante audio feeds and some audio from a soundboard, some of my mix, uh, some, I may have some audio from an analog ClearCom system. That's not Dante, or in this case, uh, my Motu M2. And so I can come here, I can go to my input. My input device is the Reaper loopback audio, the virtual device. And when I go to uh, my audio feeds, you'll see that I have all of those available for selection for Unity Intercom.
So um, again, that was it. I just wanted to do a, a quick demonstration and show everyone how to make or how to use two or more audio devices with loopback and Unity Connect and Unity Intercom. Thanks, everyone.